We gon' get weird today, y'all. Y'all trying to get weird with me? I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. I am absolutely kidding, right? Because what I'm talking about today is flipping houses, not making mistakes, making sure you do the right deals, avoid the wrong deals. And you know what is some of the worst stuff ever for house flippers, especially new house flippers? Flipping weird. You want to avoid weird. You don't want something that stands out in the crowd. You know all those like memes you see? Where it's like a bunch of black dots, like black stick figures, and then they're like there's like a bright red one, and it's like, don't stand in, stand out. Yeah, yeah. Not when it comes to house flipping. Being weird, being different, being unique, that's how you lose money. Today we're going to be talking about this house flip and whether or not that falls into that category or if it's a banging deal. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and what I do, folks, what I do is I help people like you invest in real estate. I have done it all. I'm a broker, a landlord, investor, insurance broker, title company owner, real estate broker. I've done a lot of stuff in the real estate business. This is how I, I butter my bread, y'all. All right, I've sold $200 million worth of this stuff. I know what I'm doing. I run the largest scattered site portfolio in my market, right? The Cleveland market. So if you want to learn how to flip properties, that's one of the things we do. And you want my team to partner with you and do the on-the-ground work. Uh, you can get personalized videos like this. Uh, you just book a call by clicking the notes below, and you will get one, okay? If you're just here to learn about how to flip houses in your own home market, great. It all starts with education. Uh, but if you want to go one step further and actually work with us one-on-one, -on -one, get customized videos like my man Mark is doing, that's how you'll do it. But you have to stay in the Northeast Ohio market. Although I could look over your deals uh, anywhere else, right? So if you guys are thinking about doing a flip uh, in your own hometown, uh, you could order a video and I could give you my expert advice on it. Uh, but I can't actually have my team actually do the construction and maintenance for you. Whereas Mark, I absolutely can if this flip that you sent me is going to pan out to be in a good deal. But that's what we're talking about. Is this one going to be a good deal, right? First thing we should do, we should look at the neighborhood, right? You're not from the Cleveland market where I am, right? You're from Minneapolis, Minnesota, right? So you're utilizing our services. We give you the video information. Make sure your deals pass the sniff test. If they do, we broker it for you. If they don't, we say, hey, you're going to lose money. And then if we do, though, and they are going to be good, we actually do that rental for you, right? With this particular property, the neighborhood you're in, right? The address, it's 21 376 Boston, Strongsville, Ohio. They got a price at 159 grand. It's been on the market 27 days. Now, since you're new to the Cleveland market, uh, you probably have already seen this. If you haven't, you need to see it. It's called the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I've graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale in the greater Cleveland area. You will see in that guide, I have graded Strongsville as an A neighborhood. A is going to be the most Expensive properties in the least risky neighborhoods with the highest percentage of owner occupants. F is going to be the most renters, highest crime, lowest prices, highest risk. Depending on what real estate investment strategy you're using, uh, you're going to want to be in certain types of neighborhoods. For instance, like Section 8 rentals, I feel work really well in C and D neighborhoods. Airbnbs, I think work well in... Um, a neighborhoods. House flips work great in A neighborhoods. I don't think people are making a lot of money flipping houses in C and D neighborhoods because uh, your ceiling, your ceiling's way too low. So as far as neighborhood, great choice. Great choice, Mark. You picked an amazing neighborhood. I think Strogsville is one of the premier neighborhoods to try to flip houses. And if you look at the price points in Strongsville, you're going to see a lot of stuff. 400, 500, 600, 700 thousand dollars. This bad boy is only 159. So obviously the spread's going to be huge. You're probably going to make a lot of money, right? Wrong! No. 
I hate this fucking house, bro. I hate it. I hate this thing. I don't know what to do with it. You don't want weird. This is weird. This is different. This is not what you want. See, you got to understand Strongsville, all these four or $500,000 houses, right? They're all on cul-de-sacs. They're built 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, 2000s, 2010s, new construction still, right? Cookie cutter houses, big old houses, 2,500, 3,500, 4,500 square feet, attached two car garages, on nice little cul-de-sac neighborhoods. This is weird. This is different. This is an outlier. This is like some really old house, okay? It's on a main road, right? It's not in a nice quiet cul-de-sac. It's on some big old main road. And it's just, it's old. Uh, it's small. Uh, it's crappy, okay? There's no driveway to this crappy garage all the way in the back. So, like, unfinished basement it's it, it's just this is the it doesn't even have forced air right it's got uh baseboard heating this is like an abomination when compared to other strongsville houses like the kind of people that are trying to move to strongsville and they're gonna spend 400 500 six hundred thousand dollars they will never buy this piece of crap house they're never gonna do it ever this is, it's, honestly, it's functionally obsolete, really, is, is what it is. It, it could, there's no amount of money we could put into this property to put it on par uh, with the type of buyers uh, that are looking for homes in Strongsville, right? So, and that's, that's a lesson, right? That's a lesson today, folks. When you are trying to flip houses, you don't want the weird one on the street. You don't want the oddball. You don't want to stand out not stand in, right? You don't want to be the center of attention. You want a cookie cutter property, a property with comps that are easily predictable, right? You want to reduce your variables, uh, your, your variables of risk when you're investing, okay? This one, I can't even give you a comp for what this sucker would sell for because I don't know. Like, Comp it to what? It's an outlier. It's a freaking mole on your butt, dude. It's the redheaded stepchild, right? Like, it's in an area where houses that are selling for four or five, six hundred thousand dollars are selling within hours, right? Within days. This is probably the cheapest house in the entire city, and it's been on the market for 27 days, still with no buyer. Because, like, who's going to buy the thing? I don't know, right? It just, it, it, it really makes no sense. There's nothing you could do to it. It's too different, too wrong, not going to work, but we are on the right track. You are in a good neighborhood, but focus on something more similar to other properties, right? If like you got a whole street of a bunch of like 1985 built split level houses, for instance, right? And they're all selling for X amount. And then you found one that went up for sale as an estate sale and it hasn't been updated since 1980 on the inside. Boom, that could be an opportunity. But this, this is just functionally obsolete. It's weird. Don't get weird. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.